Chris Martin here for FreeFX Tutorials and today we're going to take a look at using Stitch and Sew here in Cinema 4D. So this is a really powerful modeling tool. What I'm going to do is create two objects and then just show you how you actually use the Stitch and Sew. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and grab my linear tool and I'm going to turn on my snapping, turn on work plane snap, and grid point snap. I'm going to come in here just going to create a few points something like that come over here to our perspective view turn our modeling tool back on I'm going to grab a inside object I'm going to turn that into 12 for the sides Next thing I'm going to do is select the spline and come up to my sweep nerves holding alt down and it's going to make the spline a child of the sweep nerves. Grab the inside here again, take this way down for the radius and then just drop that in my sweep nerves. So I have something like that. I'm going to come over here, turn my caps off like that. Then we'll just take this and we'll go to current state to object. Then I'm going to double click the traffic lights here and just paint them down. Turn these off. If I ever need these I can come back to them. So I've got this sort of pipe here and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my shading with lines so that I can see these edges a little bit better. Now I'm just going to come in here, put a cylinder in. We'll go over here and change this to plus X. And just drag this back. We'll go into the right view so that we can sort of line it up with the size of the other pipe. Take the cylinder, play it around with the radius here, something like that. It's probably good and we want to make sure that our rotation segments are set to 12. That's really important because we want to have the same number of edges here and here. Okay. Also need to turn caps off. Select this, turn caps off. And then we're going to go ahead and make this editable. So now we have these two pieces. So we need to take these two pieces, select them, right click, and go to Connect Objects and Delete. So now we have one object. This is very important for Stitch and Sew to work. Next thing I want to do is come over here and go to my Edge tool. And I'm going to double click this edge and Shift and double click that edge so that I have both edges selected. And Now we just want to get into a place where we can sort of line these up. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to right click, select Stitch and Sew, and I'm going to go from here to here. So you want to make sure you line these up properly. So if I just grab this and pull it over, you can see that the edge points from this piece went over here and connected to this piece. Let me just control Z to go back. Now if I hold shift and do that same thing, you'll see that it creates geometry here in the middle between these two points. So this from here to here was just created in between this edge and this edge. We'll control Z and if I hold the control modifier down and do the same thing then these two edges meet in the middle and they're welded here. So that's the basics of using Stitch and Sew here in Cinema 4D, a very powerful modeling tool and one you want to get really familiar with. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you next time.